DD has been systematically eroded as a national institution. There was a book which, um, which influenced me a lot when I was young. It was by Ramon Lohia. He wrote The Guilty Men of India's Partition. Someday I hope to write The Guilty Men of DD's Decline. Sometime. <laughs> We are now looking forward towards new source material for history. TV clips, uh, Dudashan is doing a lot. We are trying to get our entire records back. Provided we get those tapes, half the tapes are missing. And of the remaining half that's not missing, they've been overwritten. Huh, overwritten. So you had an extraordinary performance of All India Radio, with Bade Gulam Ali Khan in 1946 and then some local politician was visiting and he didn't have a spool so he overwrote it. So there goes Bade Gulam Ali Khan. But this happens, this amount of mortality happens. So of the records on the basis of which we rewrite or write or, or, or construct our history, they have to be on factual legs. History is not just speculation. We have to, we owe it to our next generation to tell what a mess we made during our period, and you then go and improve upon it. And I'm pouncing on every such material that we have. We need scholars to work on this. I have almost lost complete faith in the academic qualities within my organization now. I don't find anybody. They're, they're, they're always running around. So there's nobody who can find time to consume, to, to digest it. We have opened up a scholarship scheme just this month. So we are inviting scholars to come to our records and uh, when we were talking about the rates of payment, I said we have to add a component called hardship allowance because to work in a government office you require a hardship allowance.